for Senate candidate Jake Beckett. Jake, uh, you served in the Middle East. What are you hearing about the morale in the military? I ask because our own Jennifer Griffin, who's reported on this subject extensively, says morale is at rock bottom. Well, I'm hearing the same, Stu. Uh, some of my best friends have just returned from Afghanistan. A few are over there with the 82nd Airborne at the airport as we speak. Look, look, morale is low because our commander in chief is absolutely incompetent. If Joe Biden were trying to undermine American credibility, I don't know what he'd be doing any differently. He allowed the Taliban, the Taliban, to dictate an arbitrary deadline to the U.S. military, to U.S. citizens. Joe Biden has abandoned thousands of Americans behind Taliban enemy lines in Kabul. This is totally unacceptable. We have to get every single American out of the country on our timeline, not the Taliban's. Okay. If Americans cannot get out, would you approve of going back in to get them out? Yes, because the British SAS, French Special Forces, they've already been doing that over the past several weeks. Look, if other countries can go get their citizens, so can we. We're the U.S. military. We still have the best military force in the entire world. We have to project American strength. There's no better use of that force and that strength to go rescue trapped, stranded American citizens. Absolutely. Get them all out, get our equipment, and get them home. I'll ask you the same question that I've asked many of our guests this morning. Do you think that the commander in chief, President Biden, is up to the job? Absolutely not. He is totally incompetent. He is not worthy of the American presidency. He has betrayed American citizens stranded in Kabul. He is showing weakness and incompetence on the international stage. This is so much bigger than Afghanistan, in my opinion. The Chinese are watching this as they look towards Taiwan. The Iranian mullahs see this as they look to develop tactical nuclear warheads. The Russians see this as they look to, to make more territorial expansions in Eastern Europe. The ramifications of this Afghanistan debacle are going to be here for years to come. We need real American leadership. We're not getting it from Joe Biden and his administration. Jake Beckett, thanks for being here. We will see you again very soon. Thank you, sir.